Hi there, and let's get to it. Today we're looking at the basics of editing inside of DaVinci Resolve 12. I'd like to introduce a few more clips into my timeline, but this time we're going to use classic three-point editing. So the three points in three-point editing refer to three in and out points dropped on either the source viewer or the timeline. There's four possible combinations, and we'll take a look at the most obvious one first. I'm going to drop an in point at the beginning of this clip, an out point a few seconds later, and then I'm going to use the up and down arrow keys to navigate through my timeline and drop another in point. So those are my three points, in, out, and in. If I now choose to insert the clip, it will insert itself at this stage where my playhead was. I go on to my next clip and once again indicate the in and out points. This time, instead of an in point, I'm going to indicate the out. So once again, one, two, three points. And what DaVinci Resolve is going to do is make sure that this clip ends at this point. This time I'm going to click on overwrite, which means that the duration of my timeline will remain the same, and this new clip will insert itself into my timeline. I could drop only the in point inside of the source viewer, in which case I'm now going to have to indicate in and out points inside of the timeline. So what's going to happen is DaVinci Resolve will place the first frame from the source material at the in point of the timeline and then continue playing the clip until it reaches the out point. So when I click overwrite, that's exactly what's happened. As you've probably guessed, the last option is to drop only an out point inside of the source viewer, drop both in and out points inside of the timeline, and now the software will place the clip starting from the last frame and stop when it reaches this end point. Like that. Now that we're getting a bit more comfortable using the insert and overwrite tools, let's see how we can juggle them with other video tracks. So I'm going to click in an empty area of the video tracks and say add track. This time I'm going to change my destination from V1 to V2. And what that means is that when I activate another clip inside of my source viewer, I place an endpoint on my timeline and I choose to overwrite the clip, it will no longer lay itself down on video track one like all the previous edits had done. Also notice how the audio track from this clip has now completely overridden all of the original audio tracks from the previous edits that I had done. That's because the destinations I had were both aligned to those audio tracks. So if I click Control Z to undo what I'd just done, and this time I add a couple of audio stereo tracks and make sure I assign them as the destination, I can now overwrite the video and the audio without overwriting the original audio and video tracks. Insert will still function in the same way. So if I pick out a short clip, and choose Insert Clip, just like in the previous instances, it has affected the duration of the timeline and it has moved the other clips aside. The last function I'd like to look at today is the Snap Tool. It's represented by this magnet in the toolbar, and what it does is it aligns your playhead or your clips to the edges of other clips. So if I was to grab the playhead right now, you notice how when I reach the edge of the clip in the second video track, it just jumps to the beginning like that. The same thing will happen if I pick up this clip and I drag it across, it will just align itself to that clip and it won't let me go over it by, you know, three or four frames. It will always assume that I either want this or I don't want it at all. This is really convenient if you want a workflow in which you ensure that you have no short gaps between clips that are just a few frames long and that are difficult to see when zoomed out. But sometimes this can be really inconvenient because you do want to have this fine control. In that case, click on the snapping tool or use the N shortcut to turn off snapping. And now you'll see that the control that I have is much finer and I can click and drag this clip right over the edge of this long clip that was on the second video track. Thank you very much for watching and until next time.